Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at how to get a bulletin board set up on your Raspberry Pi. Grab a coffee and let's dig in. Before we jump to today's content, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so once you boot up your Raspberry Pi, open up a terminal. Now guys, I'm running uh, one of the latest versions of Buster. I believe it's dated somewhere in the middle of February 2020. And I'm running the desktop only version, so it's not the full blown version, but it's not the light version either. Uh, first thing we wanna do is open up the terminal and I'm going to run the following command, sudo space apt hyphen git space install. And then we're gonna be installing PHP 7.3, which will also install the Apache web server, MariaDB hyphen server, and PHP my admin. Now guys, I will create a website and leave all of these uh, reference links and uh, any information, all the commands that we're running, things like that. I'm gonna leave a link to a website that I create down in the description below, and maybe I'll pin that as a first comment as well. Um, now, to my regular viewers, you might be wondering why uh, we're doing a forum uh, on a ham radio channel, and what does this have to do with ham radio? Well, one of my patrons sent me a message. He's involved in the Arden Data Mesh Network, and he wanted to deploy a forum on the Mesh Network, and he wanted to use a Raspberry Pi to do it. Well, I'd never done it, so I thought it would be kind of a fun little project to tackle and see if I could get a forum up and running. So that's kind of how it relates back to ham radio. Now, for others that may uh, stumble upon this video, let's kind of go through uh, what this is and what this is not. Uh, this is just gonna be a tutorial on getting PHP BB installed on a Raspberry Pi. I'm not gonna go through securing uh, the, the forum after the fact. Uh, I'm not going to go through setting up the forums. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there on both of those topics. Uh, that should apply whether you're running this on a uh, another version of Linux or whether you're running this on Raspbian with a Raspberry Pi. Also, this is the first time I've ever attempted to do this. I may not be uh, I may not be super secure in my installation. If you're going to deploy this as the administrator, security is up to you. So you'll need to do the research and figure out exactly how to secure it. If you're just going to deploy it on a uh, Raspberry Pi, maybe with my emergency email server that's not going to be connected to the internet, we shouldn't have a major problem with security. Uh, again, on mesh networking, probably not a big deal because we've got a very limited audience on there. But if you're gonna put this on uh, out on the internet at large, I might check on security a bit. Okay, so during the install, you'll come across this screen. We're going to use our keyboard. We can't use our mouse here. And we want to press the space bar and put a star beside Apache 2. Press the tab key to highlight OK and press the return key on your keyboard to carry on. I'll be back with you guys in just a minute when we run into the next question. All right, so the next box we're gonna be presented with is configuring PHP My Admin. I'm just gonna press the tab key to highlight OK and press OK. Now, uh, this will be the next option. Uh, do we want to uh, configure a database for PHP My Admin? Again, I'm gonna take the default here and choose yes. Now it's gonna ask me for a password. So I'm going to enter a password here press the tab key to hi highlight OK, press return. It's gonna ask me to repeat that password to make sure we definitely get what we want. Okay, now that that's finished up, let's just clear that screen out. And I'm going to show you guys this website that I stumbled across. Uh, so Mr. Lopez here uh, has created a great uh, website on how to create a database and grant the necessary permissions that we need. 
the first thing we'll need to do over on the Raspberry Pi is run sudo space mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p. By default, there is no password. We can always come back in and change that later if we need to. Now we're looking at the database command line. Now, let's see how we can set this up. And for the sake of time, I'm going to take his defaults here. So right here, I'm going to copy create database and this other information over to the side. Now, this is going to create a database named MyDB. If you wanted to change that, uh, that uh, database name, you should do so here. But we'll just uh, call it MyDB. The next thing we need to do is create a user for the database. So I'm going to copy this uh, under the user creation and paste that in here. Again, I'm just going to accept the defaults, uh, but you would need to make sure my user right here, if you changed your username, uh, you'll have to change that several other times as we go through, and also pick a better password than uh, my password, but it'll work for the video. We'll go ahead and press return. Let's see what else is next. Okay, we need to grant permissions. Now there's two ways to do this, only at localhost or from anywhere on the network. I'm going to choose the first one since it's a bit more secure. So we'll copy that and we'll paste that in to our terminal as well. Now again, if you've changed your username or your password, you would need to change it uh, right here where it says my user and again over here where it says uh, my password, you'd have to put uh, the correct password in. Again, for the sake of time, I'm just going to go with the defaults. Now, we need to come down uh, to this one, grant all privileges to a user on a specific database. So I'm going to copy this information here, hit return, and then I believe the last thing we need to do is flush the privileges. Now this will flush uh, the previous privileges and reload in the new ones that we have just created. Now we can just type quit. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear out that screen and let's move over to our downloads directory. And let's go ahead and see if we can't download the PHP BB forums. So we'll head over to phpbb.com forward slash downloads. And right here, I'm just going to download the zip file. So I'm going to right click and say copy the link location. Back on the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to use the wget command and paste in the link that we just copied. That'll go ahead and download that zip file to our downloads directory. Now that that's finished up, let's list that out and you'll see that we have the zip file here. Let's get that unzipped with unzip PHP and I'll just press tab to autocomplete. And we'll give that a second to unzip all of those files. Clear that screen, we'll list that out again and you'll see our new directory here that we just unzipped. Let's move into that directory with cd space php bb3. Now remember guys, everything in here is case sensitive so make sure you get the case right uh, when you're typing in these commands. Now we do need to make a directory on our web server for our new forum that we're going to get ready to build. So let's run sudo mkdir space forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html forward slash forum. Now that we've made that directory, we need to copy everything from our current directory to the new directory that we made. So we'll use sudo cp hyphen r star and then we'll give it the new directory path. We'll go ahead and press return and now we've moved everything over to the new uh, web server directory where we're going to host this. Now it is important, uh, the forum right here at the end will be a uh, subdirectory on our web server. So I'll show you where that comes into play in just a second. 
Uh, now let's go ahead and move over to that new directory with the cd command and then we'll give it the path of our new directory. And clear that screen out again. Now we need to make a few modifications to some files so that they are writable. Now here's one place that I'm not super uh, certain on things in exactly the proper permissions to give each of these files. I know in the beginning they all four of these files will need 777 permissions uh, basically opening them wide up. After we get it installed I will change the config PHP to 644 but you'll need to do some research and figure out exactly how to secure your server. So let's start with chmod 777 config.php the next one is uh, 777 and I can't type this morning files after files we want to mod the cache directory and the last one we're going to mod is the store directory Okay, let's leave those for the time being. I'm going to head over to the web browser on the Mac again, and I'm going to need the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. If you're not, from, uh, if you're not certain what that is, you can type in hostname space hyphen I, whoop, got that wrong, hyphen and capital I, and that will give you your current IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So this is what we're going to use over in the browser. So we'll type in 10.4.36.194 because that's my uh, Pi's IP address, forward slash forum. Now remember I told you uh, that I would show you guys in a second uh, what was, uh, where that came into play. This is the subdirectory that we put the forum files all into. After the uh, forum we're going to give it another forward slash and say install and forward slash and you should be greeted with a page that looks like this. We want to click the install tab right up here in the top left corner and then we want to click the install button right here in the middle of the screen. And you may get a warning here about a directory not being writable. Uh, this is for avatars uh, so people can upload their avatars. If that's something you're interested in you would need to uh, do a chmod plus 777 on uh, this directory here. I'm not going to worry about it and it shouldn't affect our install. So the administrator's name, I'm going to use my call sign here uh, and we'll need to put in a email address. I'm just going to give it a fictitious one for now and then we need to create an administrator password and we'll have to enter that in twice. Once we get that done, let's go ahead and press the submit button and you will be presented with the next screen here. All right, in the first box up here, I'm going to use localhost. The database server port, I'm going to leave blank because we're using a standard one. Uh, if you are using a non-standard port, you're probably not watching this tutorial to begin with. The database username, remember, was my user, and we saw that from right over here on this uh, website where we kept typing this in. If you change this, you'll have to change yours right here as well. And then the database password was my password was the default and my database name that we used uh, for this tutorial was mydb or mydb. Let's go ahead and press the submit button. This will be the next screen that you're presented with. Uh, so I'm going to choose no on mine uh, just because I'm not uh, worried about cookies at this present time. I'm going to leave this set to default and this is the current IP address of my Raspberry Pi. So for now I'm going to leave that and we do want the uh, server installed or I'm sorry the forums installed in the forum subdirectory. So we'll just press submit here. Next we will get the email configuration page. I'm just going to leave it at default. You guys can play with this uh, if you want to. Let's go ahead and hit submit. And the last thing we're going to do is uh, be presented with a few uh, 
bulletin board configurations. So this yourdomain.com right here, I'm just going to leave all of this uh, as default, but I will show you in just a second where this shows up. And this is uh, short text to describe your forum. I'll show you guys where that comes into play as well. You can leave it now and you can change that uh, later through the administrative panel. Let's click Submit and we'll get a progress bar where it starts creating and setting up our forums. Okay, once the installer reaches 100%, let's just leave it sitting right here for a second and let's head back over to the Pi. We've got a couple of more things to take care of before we can use our new forums. The first thing we need to do is I'm going to list this directory out again. We need to rename this install folder to something else. So I'm going to say sudo I'm going to use the move command, which is mv install to install.org. So sudo space mv space install space install.org. That will get that uh, renamed and out of our way. And the last thing I want to do is we're going to change that config.php file. Uh, to something a bit more secure. So ch uh, sudo space chmod 644 space config.php. And that'll lock that one down a little bit tighter. All right, now let's head back over to our web browser. And up here, we're going to navigate to uh, the Pi's IP address forward slash forum. We'll press the return and you should be presented with your new forum. Now, you're already logged in as the administrator. You'll see my call sign here. And remember earlier I said I'd show you where uh, some of that uh, information came into play? Well, here's the yourdomain.com, and here's the uh, short text to describe your forum right underneath it. So if you entered something different, you would see that here. When you're ready to administer, uh, set up new forums, uh, set permissions for users and all of that, you're going to use this here, the uh, administration control panel. We can click on that and you should be presented with the new administration control panel. So you'd need to go through and set up uh, your forums and your permissions the way you see fit. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.